When we speak about the counting of the Omer, we mention Shabbos three times. First we say, as far as you should count, Shabbos. From the day after Shabbos, Pesach is called Shabbos in that Pesach. And then it says you should count Sheva Shabbosos to Mimos. Seven Shabbosos, which means weeks, but we use the word Shabbos. And then the Pesach says, Ad Mimachras HaShabbos HaShviyas to Sbruch HaMashim Yoyim. Until the seventh Shabbos that we count. Mimachras HaShabbos, Sheva Shabbosos, Ad Mimachras HaShabbos. Why do we have this focus so much on Shabbos? After all, counting of the Omer is actually not Shabbos. When we finish the week, it's not Shabbos. We finish the week wherever the week finishes. Explained with Moshe Shapira something quite beautiful. He said that what is Shabbos? Shabbos is the day where we rise above the rest of the week and we are in a different world. The way I would describe it, you have two people walking down the street. One is a Jew, he walks on one side of the street and the non-Jew is on the other side and it's Shabbos. It's not just them walking on different sides of the street. One is living in the world of Shabbos. And in that world, he's got Kedusha and Tahara, and he's in a different realm called Shabbos. And the other is living in the weekday. He's living in Saturday. They're two different worlds. When the Jewish people came out of Mitzrayim, came out of Egypt, we started counting. Do you know what that counting does? It catapults us to a whole new world, a place which is above the regular time. You see, people live in time, but the creation of Safira Sa'ime is counting time, which actually puts us in a new world. It's called the world of Safira Sa'ime. It's called the world of Shabbos. We start counting Mimachra Sa Shabbos, the day after Shabbos, which is Pesach. Pesach, of course, was where we were catapulted to that world with unbelievable miracles, Nisim, that put us in that world called Shabbos from above this world. Then we count seven weeks every day, another Shabbos basically. Sheva Shabbos is Temimos. Seven weeks each day reminding us that we are not bound by the physical world within which we find ourselves, but rather we belong to that world of the supernatural, the world of Shabbos. Until when? Ad Mimachas HaShabbos HaShviyas. Till we get to that final Shabbos, which is Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah, which of course itself was out of this world not for nothing that it also takes place then and there in that year on Shabbos itself because it's of course beyond this world that's what Sfir Sa'imir is counting days that are beyond this reality beyond the physical world and here we are finding ourselves in a world where people have different reactions to what's going on at the moment there's the Teva natural reaction obsessing with the news looking at what's happening when is it all going to be over and then there's the Safira Sa'ima type response, which is, let's do what a Jew should do during this time. Put ourselves in Hashem's hand. Say we're in a different world. We are in the world of tefillah, of prayer, the world of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's care. And in His hands and in His care, that's where we're safe and that's where we want to be. And therefore, during these days of Safira Sa'ima, we have to remember, where are we living? We're living seven weeks of Shabbos Kodesh. Seven weeks in Hashem's world. May we be zoicha to merit, to feel that every day. Shava Shabbos is Tamimos, these perfect weeks which can be so powerful. Everybody should be blessed that they should have this feeling of Shabbos with them throughout Sphira Sa'imah.